Google Cloud Virtual Private Cloud or VPC Network Peering allows private connectivity across two VPC networks so that workloads in different VPC networks can communicate with each other. Since VPC Network Peering uses Andromeda, Google's implementation of SDN and Google infrastructure for private IP connectivity, it offers several advantages like better security, low network latency, and low network egress cost. You may encounter errors with VPC peering if not configured correctly or if certain considerations are not followed. Today, I'll walk you through how to troubleshoot and resolve some common issues with VPC network peering and share some key points to be considered while creating or managing VPC network peering. For today's demo, consider the following topology, VPC A and VPC B created in the same project. VPC A has subnet A with IP range 10.0.1.0 slash 24 and subnet X with IP range 10.0.10.0 slash 24. It also has instance A as a static route, route A for 4.2.2.2 associated with subnet A. Similarly, VPC B has subnet B with an IP range 10.0.2.0 slash 24 and subnet Y with IP range 10.0.10.0 slash 24. It also has instance B and a static route, route B for 8.8.8.8 associated with subnet B. Let's start with the first issue, unable to create VPC network peering. I'll set up a VPC network peering from VPC A to VPC B and from VPC B to VPC A. In the Google Cloud Console, go to VPC network, select VPC network peering. Click Create Connection. Click Continue. Set up VPC network peering from VPC A to VPC B. Import and export subnet routes with privately used public IPv4 addresses. Click Create. The network peering will be an inactive state until we configure network peering from VPC B to VPC A. Use the same process and create network peering from VPC B to VPC A. Create peering connection. Click continue. Oops, we are getting an error while creating the peering. It says an IP range in the peer network 10.0.10.0/24 overlaps with an IP range in the local network. The subnet IP ranges in peer VPC networks cannot overlap. In our example, subnet X in VPC A and subnet Y in VPC B have overlapping IP ranges. To fix this issue, I'll remove subnet Y from VPC B and try again. There you go. Both the VPC network peerings are created and are in active state. Another common issue is all or some custom static or dynamic routes are not imported to the peer VPC network. This can happen due to various reasons. Let's check one by one. Static routes in a peer network that use network tags are never imported as peering custom routes. In our case, we don't have static routes with network tags. Static routes in peer network that use default internet gateway as the next hop are never imported as peering custom routes. Let's go to each peering and check imported and exported custom routes. Subnet routes have been exported to the peer network and have been imported from the peer network. Custom route, route A for 4.2.2.2 is neither exported by the network nor imported by the peer. This is because custom routes are imported by a peer network only if export custom routes option on the VPC peering is selected in the network that has the custom routes and the import custom routes option on the VPC peering is selected in the peer network that should be receiving the custom routes. Both these options are unselected in our setup. Let's enable the options and check again. Yeah, the custom routes are exported by the network and accepted by the peer. Apart from this, keep in mind that when a network reaches the per peering group limit of dynamic routes, no more routes can be imported. In such cases, peering dynamic routes might be dropped. However, it is not possible to determine which routes are omitted. You need to contact Google Cloud support in this case. Now, in our setup, let's have another VPC, VPC C, which is peered with VPC B and vice versa. So effectively, we have a VPC network peering between VPC A and VPC B 
as well as between VPCB and VPCC. One common issue that can be seen with this setup is VPC A and VPC C cannot communicate with each other. In fact, this is not an issue but a constraint. Only directly peered networks can communicate because transitive peering is not supported with VPC peering. To resolve this issue and have connectivity between VPC A and VPC C, we need to configure separate VPC network peering from VPC A to VPC C and from VPC C to VPC A. To conclude, I would like to share some key points to be considered while configuring VPC network peering and troubleshooting any issues. A VPC network can peer with multiple VPC networks, but there is a limit. Review VPC network peering limits. You cannot peer two different auto mode VPC networks because all auto mode VPC networks have the exact same subnets. Each side of a peering connection is set up independently. Peering will become active only when configuration matches on both sides. Only directly peered networks can communicate. Transitive peering is not supported. You can't disable the subnet route exchange or select which subnet routes are exchanged. The subnet IP ranges in peered VPC networks cannot overlap. VPC peers always export subnet routes. For more information on VPC network peering, check out this documentation. Thanks for watching.